Logic. So I've got a track open here and I'm just exporting the stems for the beat, the instrumental. So you see I've muted out the vocals and I've just got the track live that I actually want the stems exported for. So what we're going to do from there is just highlight all of those tracks by clicking and holding shift and it'll highlight the whole lot for us. And the shortcut is shift command and E and that's going to give us this menu here. Now you can also get to it by going to file down to export and you've got all tracks as audio files which is our shift command and E that we just did there. So bash those in again. Now there's a couple of things in here you want to make sure it's going to the correct folder so for example this is going to not stay in the same which is in as 88, it's 88 BPM and what we're going to do we're going to create a new folder down at the bottom here and we're going to call it stems Okay. Now it's going to drop all of those into here and we just want to have a little look here at what's going on. Trim silence at file end. Now that's really useful if you say I've got uh, a part that is only at the start of the track and then doesn't occur for the rest. It will just cut the rest of it. So when you import the stems, it will be there at the start. It doesn't just have to do like a, a 60 meg file of just silence. Really useful. I tend to leave that on most of the time. Um, I tend to go to WAVE, you can go A for CAF, it really doesn't matter completely up to you. I've just always worked in uh, WAV files, so I'm sticking in that. 24-bit, you can, can use the 32-bit floating point if you need. 24-bit tends to be fine depending on what you're doing. Um, bypass the plugin effects if you want, but I want this so they can just drop the stems in their project and they've got it, they're ready to rock. So we're going to keep that on as it is and normalize i have it off but you can also put overload protection or you can have it on so everything gets put up to zero again i want it so they can just drop the stems in and the track sounds as it is to me they've just got the audio parts of it um you've got some like naming elements going on here i tend to just do track name and whatever i've then named it in the project for example like the uh, bass split the piano things like that it's just going to take those names but you can take different parts if you so desire or you can put a custom text in but i just go with the track names so they tend to name everything as i go along and then we just export and from there it's just gonna bounce down and give us our stem files and you'll see now it's exported all of the stems if we have a look at our file here We've got the project, we've got the master file itself, and then you'll see we've got all of the different parts here. And that's essentially it. That's how you export stems from Logic Pro.